pizza review time. All right, one bite, everyone knows the rules. I'm at La Pizza and La Pasta. Um, all right, let's take a look at this pizza here. We got two kinds. This is the um, margarita. It's supposed to have cheese, tomatoes, and basil. Not much basil, as you can see, though. Then we have the salami, whatever. Uh, it's kind of like the meat lover's one. Let's take a look at the undercarriage. Wow, real Italian pizza. Check out that undercarriage. One by everyone knows the rules. The crust is a little more burnt than I would have liked, as you can see the black char marks along the crust and on the undercarriage. It's pretty blackened, so that kind of lowers my enjoyment of it. The toppings are really good though. You can taste the freshness of the tomato and the strong cheese. So overall, it's a decent pizza, but considering I had to make a month's reservation um, to, to, to eat here. It take 40 minutes. Yeah. My pasta came, just came, and it looks pretty good. Um, the waiter was telling us, you know, the concept of the restaurant, telling us how the pizza would take 15 to 20 minutes. The pasta could take a while because they wanted to cook it al dente. Everything's a lie. This place is little Caesars hot and ready. The food comes out super fast. So either their, their chefs are telepathic or it's hot and ready, like I said. Pizza though, margarita, Really flavorful, really tasty, really fresh, a little bit burnt though. I'd have to give this like a, uh, a three and a half out of five. Um, one by everyone knows the rules. Actually, I forgot, we're doing one, one by piece of review, so I'm gonna mess around and give it a, a, a seven two. All right, the salami pizza, lots of meat on it, as you can see. Everything's coming out so fast. This meat pizza, I think, is better than the margarita. Maybe it's because there's more toppings on it, but it's not as burnt as, as the margarita. So I like the texture more. Meat's really flavorful. Cheese and tomato sauce are also really good. I'm gonna mess around and give the meat pizza. Oh, yo, the, that was the six dollar cheese. The six dollar cheese. Wow. I'm gonna mess around and give the this pizza a hmm, seven six. I don't know. It's it's pretty good. All right. I'm gonna try my pasta now. We got the parpadelli, al ragu, the Froom, I forget the exact name, but it's like a mushroom. It's a mushroom uh, pasta. Let's get into it. Fresh al dente noodles. Big chunks of mushroom. Steaming hot. Whew. Not pasta. I really like the noodles, but I feel like the sauce could use more flavor or salt. It's very mushroomy, but actually, this is not my favorite mushroom pasta. I've had better ones elsewhere, like the one in the prune yard. I'll have to insert the name because I forget the name right now, but that one. Pasta restaurant in the prune yard um, in Campbell. I think that one actually tops this pasta. This pasta is decent, but it's just kind of bland. I don't know what it is. And considering the menu, they didn't have many meat options for the pasta. I'm gonna say like pizza and the pasta. Probably super authentic, 
but just not up to my taste. I don't know. It's pretty good, but prices are a little expensive, and the long reservation process. I might say this place is slightly over overhyped. It's still good though. So overall review, I probably give this place like a three and a half out of five. Nothing was really bad, but maybe I my expectations were too high. Um, all right. Uh, Got my boy Steiner here. Every time I'm leaving on you, you don't make it easy, no. You didn't get your food yet, but you tried the pizza, right? What do you think about the pizza here? It's whatever, right? Unfortunate. I have Costco pizza. Yeah. I actually really like Costco pizza. Same. Alright, Michael. How is your six dollar mozzarella? Mozzarella is actually really. I've never had like a mozzarella like oh, this huge block. Like, yeah. Nice. So it would just be like some shredded cheese. <laughs> <laughs> nice. The carbonara looks like it was made out of spaghetti. Their fresh spaghetti, and uh, the what's it called? How was the El Chino egg? <laughs> We got AJ. What do you think of uh, this restaurant? Yeah. Eh. Have you had a chance to try the lasagna? How is it? It's good. I would say it's better than the frozen lasagna you get at Okay. Yeah. yeah. I didn't start it, but it's alright. <laughs> alright. That's been the review of La Pizza La Pasta. I would say it's it's alright. Um yeah, go to Costco. We're done here. This video is sponsored by Blue Apron. I know we're in the restaurant, but it's still sponsored by Blue Apron. That's all. <laughs> Don't forget with Blue Apron get ready to cook meals all portioned out to your door use the code wingdrop for 20% off on your next purchase on blue apron and your boy wingdrops at Rory 4 we're done here bide your time and hold out hope